study a little bit in Psalms 33 and verse 1. We'd like to say it's good to be back in the house of the Lord this morning and would like to uh, make a comment or two, you know, about the world and all that it's going to uh, get wrong with it and everything. And I tell you what, it, uh, it might help us and encourage us to get harder at this place and get ready to go home and be with the be with the Lord, and you know, uh, um, Diane and I was listening to a thing that's on uh, Facebook today, or yesterday one, and uh, this lady was telling about, she got on a bus, she was on a bus, and this woman come in, <clears throat> had a whole bunch of bags on her shoulders and everything, and sat right down and just shoved her over, you know, and pushing around on her, and uh, the lady said to her, she said, how are you, how are you today? She said, oh, I'm fine. She said, it didn't bother you that I did that to you, shoved me around. She said, no, I said, my journey's short. I'm going to get off the next stop. You Amen. Know? And uh, that's what we ought to do this morning is uh, if, the, if the world problems are, are getting next to you, uh, just, just think on this. Hey, I'm getting off the next stop. Amen. And uh, I'm, I'm ready to go. And uh, I know we, we uh, this old body dreads the thoughts of the sting of death, but the thing of it is, uh, you know, uh, some of the some of the things that identify the sting of death is just going to sleep. Right. And I don't mind going to sleep overnight. If I don't have to roll and tumble all night, I can go right on to sleep. It's, it's painless. And so we got things to look forward to if we uh, if we just uh, look at look at it. So in the Psalms this morning, we we want to talk to you a little bit about blessed in uh, and <clears throat> in, in Psalms thirty. 33 1, where we'll start our lesson. It says here, Rejoice in the Lord, O ye righteous, for praise is commonly for the upright. Amen. Now listen to this. Rejoice in the Lord, O ye righteous. Now here's the thing of it. If you're righteous, if you're Christ like, if you're trying to walk in the, in the way of the Lord, You've got a wonderful, wonderful thing to do. And that is that you can leave all of this anguish, all of this problems and all these things uh, to the back of you and rejoice in the Lord. Because, listen, that's where all of our joy and all of our, our freedom and all of, all of our blessings come from. It's from the Lord. Amen. And so we have, <clears throat> we have the qualifications. Right. You, you, we that are saved... Uh, have the qualification of rejoicing. Right. We can rejoice in the Lord. And so he said here, <clears throat> the psalmist said, Rejoice in the Lord, O ye righteous, for praise is commonly. And this word commonly, uh, in, in my concordance at all, it, 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 it means beautiful. Mm -hmm. Now, it's a beautiful thing this morning for us to praise the Lord. And we need to praise Him more than we ever have in our lives before because we are getting closer to that that, that last stop, people. Uh, Amen. You know, we're closer than we was last year, and we may have done stop before we get this time next year. So listen, we're getting closer to that stop, and we Amen. need to be rejoicing in it, and we need to be praising the Lord. And this morning... I'm afraid this morning that we and, and, and myself are falling short of rejoicing instead of grumbling and looking at things in the wrong way. And I'll tell you one big thing that's, that's a hindrance, and that's the television. And Amen. you see all of this turmoil and all of these things going on, and you say, oh, my Lord, how's it going to be next year? Well, next year may never come for you. And that may, may not come from me. And so we need to rejoice in this day that, Amen. that God has made for us and that we're able to come here into the house of the Lord and fellowship with one another, have peace, and be able to uh, stand up and uh, sing songs of praise to him and uh, read the scriptures and listen to his word and nobody coming in and turning the doors down and, Amen. and killing us or uh, putting us in jail. We need to rejoice in this because, listen, uh, like I say, we don't know what's coming, but the thing of it is, the more that we rejoice, the closer we can get to the Lord and 
so this morning, I think this is one of the things that, that David was uh, uh, considering. He says, praise the Lord with harp, sing unto him with palsy and an instrument of ten strings. Now, it says, praise the Lord with the harp or with singing. And that's something this morning, and the Bible talks about the melody of the heart, and we need to have a melody in our heart singing praise to the Lord and rejoicing in that because that we know him because if we didn't know him, we couldn't sing about him. We couldn't enjoy that. So we need to uh, praise the Lord in song. And if we can play an instrument, which I never could even hardly play a radio, but if you can play an instrument, listen, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a second. That's a, that's a good thing. Amen. That's a joyful thing. And, it, and you can be a comfort to other people and you can even comfort yourself with the the piano, the guitar, and it says with the ten strings, and I don't know what instrument that was, but I know David played the harp, and so uh, he played these musical instruments, and, and you, you remember what happened to Saul when Saul uh, got out of the will of the Lord, and he couldn't get no comfort when right. sometimes he called for David, David come in there and play that harp to him, and it was, but you know, God was in it, and, and it would soothe the, the, the king, and so your, 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 your talents, use them for the Lord and, and thank Him for the uh, fingers that you have and for the understanding that you have and the eyes that you have that you can use these instruments to pray to play on. So Amen. he said here, uh, notice in verse 3, sing unto him a new song, play skillfully with a loud noise. Amen. Now it's not one of these little doobie 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 but play it out like you want to and it's the same way when you go out here to witness to someone you don't need to muffle your voice and all this but you need to let them know what you're there for Amen. And, to them about it and, and, and be strong in it because I want you to see something here look up in the, uh, the other chapter 4 that 32 in the last 11, 11th for, uh, verse there be glad in the Lord and rejoice ye righteous now He's identifying, he's giving you the qualifications, saying to you, you've got the qualifications, and you've got the right. He says, be glad in the Lord and rejoice, ye righteous. Amen. And shout for joy, all ye that are upright in heart. Now, this thing here of shout, I want you to see something in 1 Thessalonians this morning, and I know you know it, but I want to... I, I want you to understand it and see what he's saying here in 1 Thessalonians 4 and verse 16. 1 Thessalonians 4, 16. The Bible says, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. He's not going to come Amen. up there and say, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's going to shout it out. He's going to tell Every one of the righteous, you've got the right to hear this voice. Come on up here. Amen. And listen, those that are alive will remain, but those that are in the grave, the bodies will come out, and the and the and the uh, souls and bodies will unite together. And then though we that are here, when we go up, we hear that, and we'll be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye, and we will be in the presence of the Lord forever. Amen. And so, listen, there's nothing wrong with shouting. There's nothing Amen. wrong with a, with a person raising his voice a little bit when he wants to get something out. There's nothing wrong with a, a man that's called a priest to, to uh, let the people know he's around instead of just, just this little whining around like right. we see some or telling some kind of a funny little joke. But listen, you need to do it with a loud voice. And he says here, uh, he said, look, notice, for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout of the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God. <coughs> and the dead in Christ shall rise first. So there's going to be a shout and there's going to be this trump. And that's what David, what they're talking about, playing on the instrument. This trumpet is going to sound and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Amen. So don't never get it in your mind that it's going to be any other way because God is going to, Jesus is going to come back 
And as God called, told him, said, you go get my children, he's going to appear, and, and, and he's going to say this, and we're gone. Amen. We're gone from this place. Amen. And listen, there's not no being, no looking back like uh, uh, Noah, uh, Lot's wife. Yeah, Amen. thank you, Lord. And so he said, Lot turned, and wife turned back because she loved that place. That's it. And listen, I ain't got a thing in this world Amen. left here. Uh, if I had a hundred thousand dollars, it ain't worth a club nickel to me when I'm going to be with the Lord. Amen. Amen. So he says, "Then we which are alive and remain, and it could be some of us. Listen, people, and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. So shall we ever be with the Lord." Amen. Wherefore, now listen. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. It should be a comfort to us to know this morning that we that are righteous, we that are saved, we're going to be caught up in the in the clouds to be with the Lord and, and God forever. And so we we don't need to be dis, uh, be in, discouraged this morning. We need to really understand that our route is to heaven and that we are serving the Lord and, and that's for those that know that they've been saved. That's the ones that's trying to be uh a servant to the Lord and Amen. trying to be a, a help to others. Listen, uh, at righteousness. So here, here he says here in verse uh, four. Well, I want to look at something else too, if I can find it right quick. Uh, it talks about the joy, and and listen, the Bible talks about the joy of our salvation. Mm -hmm. And he's saying here this morning. Uh, uh, sing unto the hymn a new song, place. Uh, no, I'm sorry. For the word of the, let me let me find it. I want to find this, and, and I, it's in the. Huh. Well, I can't find it. It's in the script. It was in my, but it's over here. I think it's over here about the the joy of our salvation. I want to, I want to make Amen. this go. Be joyful in the Lord this morning because you have salvation. Because listen. You can't lose it, and it's going to be such a such a wonderful Amen. thing when you when you understand it all. We don't understand it all. The, the, the Bible says about looking through a dark a glass darkly. Mm -hmm. Listen, we don't comprehend the joy and the and the righteousness that we 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 will have with the Lord and the blessing that we'll have with the Lord in heaven. And he here on in verse uh, verse four. For the word of the Lord is right, and all his works are done in truth. Amen. And so here we see here, he's saying, for the word of the Lord is right. And this is what we're reading this morning. This is right, and there's no, there's no uh, wrong about it. It's right, and, and it's telling us the, about the righteousness of Christ, and we as God's people need to practice it and understand it and study it and restudy it and just like Amen. chewing an old piece of a, a tough meat, you need to just keep chewing it and keep chewing it and keep chewing it because Amen. listen, the more you chew it, the better it gets. And I understand, I, I, in, in Psalms, Psalms is such a blessing. But here he says, notice in verse five, he loveth righteousness Amen. and judgment or justice. He loves righteousness and he loves us when he looks down upon us and he sees us uh, with a heart of love and with a pure heart, and we're trying to uh, serve him righteously and trying to do the things that is pleasing to him. He loves it. And listen, people, I'll guarantee you, I'll guarantee you, you may think sometimes the Lord has turned his back on you, but listen, he's never, he's Amen. never turned his back on Amen. you. And he'll always love you, and he'll always let you uh, profit and he'll also uh, bless you with the things that you cannot afford, the things that Amen. you cannot have. With, and listen, one of them is a good, healthy body and a good mental body right. where we can understand his word. And he blesses us. There's nobody else can. And if it was up to the devil, he'd take everything we had away. So it's the Lord Jesus Christ and God himself. Now, by the word of the Lord were the heavens made and all the host of them by the breath 
of his mouth. Amen. And you remember when you read Genesis, O God, let there be by his mouth. And that's he spoke, that's what he's talking about. He spoke these things into condition into uh, uh, being. And he says, he gathered the waters of the sea when he talked about let all the waters be gathered together. It's by just by speaking these mm -hmm. things Amen. to people. That's our God. That's our Savior. That's our our Father. And listen, He don't. You know, He don't. He tells us about the Father uh, uh, loving the child, and when He give him a a, 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 a a snake for an egg or something of this nature. Listen, He don't do that to us, and Amen. we we don't appreciate it like we should because. Uh, the first word in this in this chapter here, rejoice. We don't rejoice like we should. Amen. And, You're and right. we don't praise him like we should. So here in verse 8, let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe at, of him. And this morning, do we stand in awe of him? It's doubtful. Uh, and, 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 you know, I've seen that word all, and you, you've heard the expression all. Oh, I, I kill, I give half of my money for that, or all. Oh, I might not give my life for that. Listen, that's the way that we need to look towards God. Amen. All, I love Him. All, I want to serve Him. All, I want to be closer to Him. All, He's the greatest thing it is. That's the all of here. And so He says, here. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. Amen. For, the, for he speaks, and it was done. He commands, and it, should, and it stood fast. Now, sometimes, I, I'm thinking of this, we ask him for things, and they don't, it don't come. But on the other hand, look at all the things that he does do for you. That you ask him, and you don't even ask him sometimes, but he just blesses you and blesses you and blesses you. And I'm going to tell you something this morning that happened this, week, this weekend. We had a washer that started leaking, and so we were going to replace it, and, and we decided we'd get us a, a dryer to go with it. And the guy said, Well, that old stove in there, it's, it don't turn on and off all like it should. I said, Well, we'll just get us a new stove. So we went and got these things and put them in, and we took the old stove out, outside to take the, the pigtail off of it and put it on our new one. And would you believe that that pigtail was so burnt up that my son, uh, Christopher, just took a hold of it and pulled it and the whole thing fell off. I told mm -hmm. Diane, I said, Diane, <laughs> we, uh, the Lord showed us we needed a washing machine. But we needed a stove. Amen. And listen, people, that thing could have burnt our house completely down. That was a 220 coin going in there and all of that. And we'd never smelt anything. We'd never done. And I, that's the reason I want to tell you this. He's he's always around. And, and, and you know, I could have grumbled a lot about, oh, I wish that washer hadn't a, had a quit. I don't want to spend money for it. But listen, people. That's how God blesses. Amen. When you think sometimes, hey, that he's, he's roughing you up and he's causing you to do this and causing you to do that, you just wait on the Lord. Amen. You wait on him because, listen, you'll see when it's all said and done, it's the best thing for you. And, and sometimes it, it, may, it may take days and years, and it, but the thing of it is he does everything that he does uh, for a purpose. Amen. And listen, we that are righteous, we that are Christ-like, listen, the reason he does it is to help us, to Amen. protect us. And, 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 and this old flesh says, oh, God, you let me down. You let this old thing happen, this old thing happen. But listen, you need to, <laughs> and it sounds silly to the world, but we need to praise the Lord. Amen. I mean, regardless right. of what it is. Uh, uh, it, he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. And so this morning, here in verse 10, the Lord bringeth the counsel of the heathens to naught. The counsel. 
He maketh the devices of the people of none effect. And so the heathen or the Gentiles, he says, the Lord bringeth the counsel of the Gentiles to naught. He maketh the devices or the plans of the people of none effect. The counsel of the Lord standeth forever. The thoughts of his heart to all generations. And so this is the this is the mighty God that we serve. Amen. This, is, this gives him all the praise and all the glory. And and we just the same thing over. But we need we just need to we just need to keep our eyes on the Lord and listen to what he has to say. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Amen. And the people whom he hath chosen for his own inheritance. Now this was back in Exodus 17 and he told the uh, uh, Moses, he told the people, he said, if you'll follow me and do what I do, I'll never forsake you, I'll never leave you. And and he gave them the promised land and all of this and they still they still forbid uh, for forsook him and didn't uh, didn't obey him. But listen, the thing of it is in our present day and time, we need to take this as He's talking to us. Amen. And, 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 and he says here, Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. And we 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 we've heard all our lives that this this nation was was a God nation and it served the Lord. But listen, it's getting it's not it's not like it used to be. You're right. And so what's going to have to happen is is that God's going to have to intervene or let this country be taken over. And so pray. Pray for our country. Pray for our leaders. Pray for for uh, all this that this evil will be washed away and done away with, and that we can uh, serve the Lord. Because uh, it's good now as for service in here in this area. But I just heard a guy down in California. Hey, they're running through the ringer. They're running mm -hmm. through the ringer, and, right. and and every time every time the doors open, it gets bigger, and he's he's six and seven thousand people at one time. And, and so uh, they ask him all these questions, and he answers them, and all this. The Lord is blessing, and so they hate it. They hate it with a with a passion. And so here, the Lord looketh from in verse thirteen. Uh, verse uh, yeah. Oh, in verse thirteen, the Lord looketh from heaven; he holdeth all the sons of men. Amen. From the place of his habitation, he looketh upon all the inhabitants of the earth. And so, hey, he's up. He, he's he's where he's at. He can see every little thing that every individual does. He knows what they're doing. And listen, we don't get by with anything. Amen. And sometimes we say, well, the Lord will look over there. He won't do this. He won't do that. Well, we don't know the mind of God. Amen. But the thing of it is. We need to be very, very, very careful about how that we do things that it's not pleasing to the Lord because uh, it's just like uh, us looking into a mirror and seeing grease on our face. Uh, we see it like it is, and he sees it like it is. And we think sometimes in the end so flesh that we're getting away with something. Right. But we're not. So, right. And, and, and that's right. So he fashioned their hearts alike. The con he considereth all their works, and, and, and what he's saying here is that he's considered, he understands all their works. There is no king saved by the multitude of the host. A mighty man is not delivered by much strength. Amen. So here's, here's these things. A horse, and he uses an example of this right here. A horse is a vain thing or a false hope. Neither shall he deliver any by his great strength. Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy. Amen. So, to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. And so he's 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 taking care of us, and he he, he compares. He compares us to depending upon a horse or on a, a, a statue or on a law or something like that. But he says it's a vain thing. Mm -hmm. And so here we see that he, 
who says here that he will he behold the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope have that hope in his mercy to deliver their souls from death and to keep them alive in famine. And so delivering your soul from death is mean that he will he will call you, he will choose you, he will save you, Amen. and he will deliver you from the uh, uh, bottomless pits of hell, where the, or the lake of fire, where the, the devil is at. And, and, you know, just think about being in a place like that of torments eternal. Mm -hmm. And there's no escape, there's no way out, there's no end to it. And But he says here that he will deliver you. And so... If there be one here this morning that doesn't know the Lord Jesus Christ, you need to consider this. Amen. Because just as sure as the sun comes up tomorrow, and it's always come up, and it will, if you die in that condition, uh, it, you, you, you're, you're doomed, according to the Bible, to a, 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 a lake of fire. You're right. The devil and Satan is. And so you, we need to think about this this morning. Uh, here he says, <clears throat> our souls, our soul waiteth for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. Our heart, for our heart shall rejoice in him because we have trusted in his holy name. Amen. And that's, that's the key to it. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us according as we have hope in thee. And this morning I hope that... Uh, this, what we have said this morning, what we've tried to do, uh, uh, I hope that it will help you, and I hope that it will, uh, if, if you're not saved, that the Holy Spirit will speak to your soul and condemn your soul, that you uh, might see your condition. Mm -hmm. Because the devil has got those that are not saved blinded. Mm -hmm. And that's what the Bible says. And that's what Jesus said, but that's what the Bible says. And they're blinded, and they think, well, I'll put it off for a little while. And uh, if, the, if, the, if the Holy Spirit speaks to them, well, I'm going to just wait a little while. I got this to do, or I got that to do. But that's exactly what the devil wants you to do, mm -hmm. is to wait a little while. He'll give you two or three weeks. Just, just wait two or three weeks, or wait next year, or wait till you get in better shape, or wait. Listen. It'll never happen. But you do what the Holy Spirit is egging you to do. And, and, Amen. And, 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 and go somewhere. Get somewhere and, and, and pray to God and ask Him to uh, show you the right way. And uh, I, 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 say that, I say this, that uh, you'll be a more peaceful person, a more happy person. Amen. Uh, and everything be uh, much sweeter. And you can, uh, as the psalmist says, you can rejoice and you can be blessed and you can be righteous and you can talk to God mm -hmm. and there's nothing there's nothing like talking to God a lot of Christians don't do it right they don't do it they they, they, they think that's foolish and, uh, me talking to God but listen I talk to God mm -hmm. I tell him just exactly right what I want to say in, in, the, in the kindest humblest way that I can and not to defend, offend him in any way, but listen, I have a conversation with God. Mm -hmm. And listen, he answers, he answers me back in, in ways that uh, people wouldn't understand, and, and sometimes I don't understand. But listen, it's for sure that he's listening. Amen. And you can depend upon him, and if he don't answer you, just wait. And if he don't ever answer you, well, that's still all right. That don't that don't lessen his power a bit. And he's still your God. He's still your Savior. Amen. And so this morning, that's our lesson. We want to dismiss the prayer. Father, this morning we come to you thanking you for this day and thanking you for the opportunity that we had to uh, read thy word. And Father, we ask that you would open the hearts and the minds and the ears of each one and they might hear this word. And if there be one here this morning that's lost, we pray, Father, that you would stir their hearts, Father, that they might be saved. Call upon their, on their soul, talk to them, Father, and, and help them, encourage them, strengthen them, whatever it takes, Father, for that soul to be uh, saved, Father, that's what we uh, would like.
like to see uh, you do on the floor. It's a whole lot better in the airplane than to see your soul die and let a fire and go into a devil's hell. Yes. Thank you so much this morning for all your blessings.